available for download the full final version. I have now uh, recently downloaded it as it has just come out and I have bought the pro version. So here is my light review on the subject. Um, basically just showing you all the um, main differences about it and like yeah the obvious differences and the subtle differences. Well some of them at least. Okay, so here's um, just something I quickly whipped together. As you'll see here, this they um, I've changed the logo. Uh, this middle one is my 3D version of the logo. Uh, you can uh, see the logo over here. Um, that's the new uh, Game Maker logo. This logo here is the um, uh, one like for the executable. It's the default executable um, icon. So, yeah, they definitely changed that. And I'm not sure if it's better or not. It's definitely different. Um, so, as you can see in this game, I have all my uh, older icon um, files. And this is the new one. So, uh, yeah. So, the engine has improved um, a little bit. Uh, precise um, collisions, um, as in when you bounce off an object. Um, Game Maker 7's precise wasn't quite the same. It wasn't very good. This is a lot more precise. It's almost physics, uh, even though it's not quite because it doesn't have any rotations and it's not perfect. But it is pretty close. So it's a lot better in that way. Also, um, it enables transparencies in the sprites. You probably already knew that, but I'm going to go into a little more detail on that. As you can see, it's got um, transparency on the green thing as it's rotating there. So yeah. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you the basics. Other otherwise, it's pretty much normal. So, the two main things are the sprite editor and the um, script editor. So, let's look at this little my mouse icon I made. So, um, main differences here. Um, well, already, it doesn't, it doesn't start you off with the default sprite. It um, has nothing here. And then you click on this button here to create a new sprite and you choose the width and height of it. So, and then in the drawing, um, uh, it has an extra um, zoom button instead of just um, plus and negative, it has also equalization, so it'll put you back to normal. And it also let, lets you go smaller than um, the actual size, which is pretty nice if you have a hu really huge picture file. So, um, yeah, so it, let you, it lets you um, choose the alpha over here, opacity um, of what you are currently drawing. So you set it to what you want on this bar here, or you could just use the arrow keys, arrows. Um, so yeah, you set it here, and then whatever you draw will be set to um, whatever this is. So be it paint bucket or square or just plain drawing, it'll be this. So I use this. Um, I just drew this quickly to give you an idea. Also, it has an extra thing here. Um, you know how it could select using square, uh, like it did before. Um, now it's got an extra thing. You can select using group, so it magically um, just grabs a bunch. So it um, just guesses at all, which is very handy, so it'll choose everything that's one color in a group that's touching each other. So yeah, that's very handy. Um, also, it has a bunch more options in um, image here. Make a peak, erase color, smooth edges, opacity, stuff like that. Um, also, in draw line, you have an extra option of um, anti alice or whatever. Um, that means that it'll add alpha to make it look a lot smoother. So, let's say I'm going to make it black here and full alpha. I draw this line. As you can see, it's kind of interestingly weird because. Um, it's not all one solid line, right? It's got some alpha in there to make it look cool. So let's see what happens if I zoom out now and make it equal. So yeah, that looks like a pretty good line. So I'm going to undo that. Zoom in a lot. Um, 
Okay, and also with this alpha thing, there's two different types. There's, um, so yes, as you can see, it's got this blend and replace. Um, blend, uh, just adds alpha on top of the other alpha, and replace, um, removes all alpha beneath it, and adds its own. So in other words, if I were to stick, um, two type, um, let's say I put it to 60 here, uh, then I put a little blob here, just a second, there, then I put another blob there of the exact same alpha, it makes it darker, right? But if I go replace, then it doesn't do that. So, and it has a lot of backs, which is really nice, like, and do, which it does not have in the other version, you can just go back once, which is very annoying. So that is the sprite editor, or most of it. And I can see. And then, oh yes, another thing. Um, modify mask. So you can um, change around your collision mask a lot more than you could before. Um, of course, there's a X origin and Y origin. Um, just like you have in uh, Game Maker 7, and Game Maker 6, and Game Maker 5. Um, so here we go, but this is different. Um, the collision mask. So here we have um, precise which is um, precisely the collision of the um, alpha, or the sprite. Uh, then we have rectangle shape, or disc shape, or diamond shape. Uh, I don't know why anybody would want to use diamond. Um, so anyway, here we have precise, and then um, we can set the alpha tolerance, which means that anything um, below this number here will not be collision sensitive. So, the more we set it, you can see here it's um, starting to disappear because there we go so now here we have nothing showing that means that nothing will collision and the more I add here the more it shows so that's very handy that means if you have like a shadow or something you don't want a collision then you don't have to very handy stuff so yep um and then the objects, um, they're not too much different, even though they have added a few um, icons here, or D&D. Uh, &D. Um, just flash stuff, splash text, splash image, splash video, uh, splash web page. Um, so yeah, it's not too much different. You could do that with code in the previous version of GameMaker. Um, it just wasn't quite as efficient as this is. So um, then the script editor is a lot better. Um, as you can see, it, ha it has numbers next to um, each line, like so, so that's kind of handy. Um, also, it automatically um, always does error checking, so if you have any error in any way, then it'll um, put a look red line here, so that you can see, so there we go. It tells me it's an error, and it tells me where it is, so that's very handy. Um, also, instead of just um, giving you checks on what the code is, it also gives you um, checks on uh, variables and objects and sprites and stuff. That means if you start typing in a sprite, then it'll um, know what you're doing. So, there we go. It's giving me um, a list of objects um, that start with that. So that's um, very handy um, if you don't want to type in everything. So yeah, and um, the rooms aren't very different. They vary um, pretty much the same. Uh, most of it you'll find is very similar. Also, um, it's faster. Um, saving and loading is a lot faster. Um, even the gameplay is a little bit faster. I noticed that. And, yeah, so here it's pretty much the same, um, as you can see here is the icon difference. And so, yeah, I guess I should show it to you again, just to see how fast it goes. So, there we go. So graphics is the main thing, and that it's um, improved, and it's also improved the um, ease of how to code. So, yep. Yeah.
that's my overview of GM8. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.